I'm Dr. Richard Weiner. I'm a neurosurgeon in Dallas, Texas. I'm with Dallas Neurosurgical and Spine Associates. We're the largest private practice neurosurgical group in the DFW area, seven neurosurgeons and a pain management physician. Today, I'd like to present a case, uh, a very interesting case using not only an A-lift dynaline cage, but also a, a posterior expandable T-lift cage as well. This was a 42-year-old uh, female with a large central L45 disc herniation as seen on the CT myelogram, intractable low back, bilateral radiating leg pain, unresponsive to any conservative treatments. And so we did an L45 T-lift, MIS, minimally invasive T-lift, translumbar interbody fusion, removing the central portion of the disc, decompressing both radiating nerves, and then placing an expandable T-lift cage and avatar screws. And she did very well post-operatively, but presented two years later with adjacent level disease, once again, severe low back, bilateral radiating leg pain. And at that point, we felt that rather than have to go back in solely from the back, that we would do an anterior approach uh, using a Dynalink cage, which allowed us to very nicely expand the whole uh, bilateral portion of the disc space, and then followed it up by adding pedicle screws and rods from L4 to S1. And the reason for that was that just placing an anterior construct normally would work for a single level, but if we had adjacent level hardware, we felt it was important to really stabilize both levels. And so in addition to the anterior Dynalink, we did uh, extension of the posterior pedicle screws and rods. And the patient did well post-operatively. We use intraoperative imaging, and in this case, it's O-arm navigation, and you can see placement of the pedicle screws through the uh, pedicles, and also how the Dynalink uh, cage looks from the lateral view. I think doing an anterior interbody fusion is dependent on having a good access surgeon. Once you have that kind of person, then doing A-lifts are very straightforward. And I prefer to do A-lifts in cases where I need to have a broad device placed diffusely into the disc space, whereas a T-lift tends to do it transversely and helps with the fusion. An anterior A-lift cage gives you much more surface area and biologic material within the, the uh, titanium uh, implant for fusion. These uh, cages, the thing I like about them, uh, the titanium obviously very strong, and also that these can be placed uh, very easily and then we don't have to put a plate on the front.